The Gas House brand has been making waves in the industry for years now. But what was their path and their design to that success? Welcome to this quick pack episode of High Design, where we'll be briefly telling the story of the Gas House brand and its founders, Felix Murray and Kingston. But more so, we'll be analyzing the business moves and strategies that the Gas House brand has utilized in their massive rise to success. Whether it's a feature high design episode, a high design history episode, or a high design quick pack episode, the high design franchise is always striving to help educate up and coming entrepreneurs via storytelling and brand analysis. I hope high design inspires anyone watching to follow your dreams, to work hard, and to be smart while never giving up. This is LMC. Please make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and follow us on all the socials, links down below. Welcome to this high design quick pack. Now, if you haven't noticed, there are unfortunately very few black owned cannabis businesses in the legal cannabis industry. While there are starting to be more and more, I think it's important to note that the Gas House cannabis brand in its leadership of Felix and Kingston represents one of the very first black owned recreational cannabis brands that have really popped off in the legal cannabis industry. But when and where did the partnership between Kingston and Felix begin? Well, that was 2014 in Atlanta. Felix, well, he was a nightclub owner. He was also involved in entertainment. Like a lot of people know you for, you know, your gas house and you being in the cannabis industry, but you was also very influential with the music and nightlife scene here in Atlanta. I mean, for years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. if, I, if I'm not, if I'm correct, you started Dreams, correct? Yeah. Dreams like Dreams, right? yeah. Right. So for yeah, those who my don't baby. know, that's he's, on my body. he's the owner. Hand he's clap the, for Dreams, man. I had, a, dreams. I had a bunch of good nights in Dreams, Listen, man. Dreams nightclub. Hand clap for if you've ever been to Dreams nightclub in Atlanta, this is the owner right here, Felix Murray. Let me tell you something, Felix. What made you want to? <coughs> now, first, let me say this. Okay. First, I want to say, uh, shout to you because one, every time I DJ there, all my checks were good and on time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Uh, two, I never had any issues getting in. I never had any issues getting my drinks. No. You know, what I'm saying the only issues I had is when uh, Teflon was trying, DJ Teflon trying to smoke me out before my set. But you know, that's when I had baby lungs. You know, I'm with him now, so you know I can hang with him now. But that was before you know I got into the cannabis business real yeah. heavy. But I just want to say I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Because because you know in, in in Atlanta, man, you know uh, DJs and the, uh, the DJ booths and getting paid on time right. and you know even getting your name on a fly is right. a heavy thing around here. So right. you know I can I honestly say that. You've done that, you know right. what I'm saying? And it was, I've ne never had any issues. I never heard anything bad or ill will on your name yeah, in this city, that. as far as the entertainment uh, club nightlife. So I just want to give you your props for that. Thank you, man. You know, cause uh, I don't know yeah, if anybody yeah, Nightlife is tough, man. That yeah, nightlife ain't tough. easy. He would meet Kingston, who at the time was growing cannabis in homes outside of Atlanta. In the cannabis industry, we see different variations of partnerships, but a common variation we see is a master grower and a brand architect. Like we saw with Burner and Jigga in that of the Cookies Cannabis brand. By the way, if you haven't watched the high design episode on Burner and the Cookies Cannabis Empire, I highly recommend you go watch that. But anyways, the duo of Felix and Kingston initially started in the illegal cannabis market of Georgia. The Gas House brand was formed by the two in Atlanta in 2014. The Gas House brand name comes from Kingston strain that he had created. So they laid the foundations in Atlanta and in 2015, they knew that they needed to move to the West Coast where all of the medical and newly opening recreational cannabis markets were. In November of 2014, Oregon legalized recreational cannabis and that's where Felix and Kingston would attain their first license and officially start Gas House Farms. Kingston would adapt to growing in greenhouses in Oregon, and the Gas House brand would start selling to medical and recreational customers. We started, we knew what Gas House was and was going to be. Um, I had to convince Kingston to, hey bro, you gotta come to Oregon. We gotta go. We gotta prove ourselves, we gotta do this Oregon, get ready to go recreational, man. Right. Um, and so what we did was uh, we started branding, you know, because we, we clothe the merchandise too. That's right. what we do. We, right. we we move that, you know, that's 
That's our thing too. So right. we started branding. We, me being in the nightclub business, you know, I know everybody. So, you know, hey, let's start here at the home well, you, team. You, and, the relationships, yeah, and we right. Start, we started branding in the city and we started creating it. And then people started seeing this word gas house. And it was kind of like, it looked cool. Don't know what that is, well, but damn, it's right. dope people wearing it. Right. Like that's like everybody got it on. They pull up, security got it on at the club. You know, over here, or you in a strip club, somebody got it on. Dope market. They're saying it, you know what I mean? Like, man, what the fuck is this? But, you know, people, you know, you want you want to belong to things. You can right. see as a movement. From 2015 to 2017, Kingston, Felix, and their team would build up momentum and brand recognition by winning some awards in the state for their product and having consistent high quality products. Now, at the end of 2017, they would make an extremely smart and very important move. They moved their headquarters to Southern California. In a Forbes interview from 2021, Felix says, quote, we recognize California had 40 million people and Oregon had four or five million people. And so we were just like, hey, it's a whole country's economy in one state. So let's attack this state. And let's go at this state really hard. And that's what they did. End quote. Now, I really need to make it clear to y'all how important of a move this was. See, I'm personally from Seattle, Washington. I worked in the rec industry doing all different types of jobs, but I mainly helped cannabis companies build brands and I ran marketing and sales. And over the course of a few years, I realized the pitfalls of small markets like Washington State. I now always tell companies nowadays, if you want to really build a brand, you want to really build brand equity, you need to move to one of the big markets and launch your brand there, especially if you have national aspirations. Why do musicians from small towns move to places like LA or New York? Well, to build their career and their personal brand. Well, one of the reasons why, you know, they moved to these, you know, massive uh, cities. Well, there's a lot of record labels there. But the main reason is they're going there to be able to gain more fans, more opportunity. Same goes for building brands in the cannabis industry. Now, the big difference when it comes to cannabis is you need to have capital to legally set up shop. And that can be really tough. And there are ways around that. But that's for another video. Now, luckily, Gas House had moved to California in 2018 when the legal rec market had just opened up and it wasn't necessarily as hard as it would be today to establish a brand presence. Now, California's cannabis contest circuit is one of a kind and Gas House took advantage of that circuit. Kingston and Felix entered competitions, taking first place finishes at both 2018 High Times NorCal Cannabis Cup, as well as the 2019 Chalice Cup. Now, they leveraged this notoriety into commanding top shelf prices at exclusive dispensaries all around California, including stores like Cookies. Demand for gas house cannabis products and concentrates continued to grow, and the company's product command top shelf prices. And now they're in multiple states around the country, including a lot of the cookie stores that are now in all over the country. Now, because of federal prohibition on cannabis, you can't, you know, have a national brand. It's all, it's all split up, right? And so companies like Cookies and a company like Gas House, they do licensing deals. And Gas House has agreements with cultivators in four different states to produce cannabis featuring Kingston's Gas House genetics. Gas House's signature strain, Pluto, has started to really become popular. We see rappers starting to name drop the Pluto strain. Hey, Bevan. For real, for real. You smoke? Yeah. Okay, cool. What's your favorite strain? I saw someone ask that. I really see it right here, I like Pluto. Pluto? Yeah. That's sativa, indica, hybrid? Three plus, I'm B. Yeah. Oh, shit. One blunt last like two weeks. That's on you, though. If you watched my high design episodes on the Cookies brand or the Runts brand, two different videos, by the way, you can check it out in the high design playlist. The strategies of leveraging music to advertise and hype strains up can be very effective. 
Now, some other strategies that Gas House has implemented to grow brand awareness in states and markets where cannabis is not recreationally legal include throwing pop-up events all over the country, even if it's, you know, the, the cannabis has not been legalized there. Those pop-ups can allow for them to, you know, touch down with a whole new community, potentially even get some product in their hands and, you know, have their you know, their roots in that area and starting to build brand awareness. Now, another strategy that they've been leveraging is the legality of Delta-8 THC and other hemp products or other uh, hemp-derived cannabis compounds, which is actually legal, which made it legal after the 2018 Farm Bill passed which made pretty much every natural can cannabis compound in the cannabis plant besides Delta 9 THC legal. If you want more information on that, I've done countless videos on it, but it's allowed for them to get their brand into new markets and develop new customers and fans. It also allows them to sell their products online. They can sell CBD flour, Delta 8 flour in 32 states, other you know products that as long as it's not Delta 9, they can you know, they can have people buy it online and they can send it. And so that builds data over time. So it, it, it's, it's effective, right? It allows them to get their brand into new markets and develop new customers and fans. Felix and Kingston conservatively value their gas house portfolio, the gas house brand at around $60 million. Now that's according to that 2021 Forbes article that I referenced earlier. Something that's really dope about Felix and Kingston is they've strived to mentor and help up and coming black cannabis entrepreneurs, help them succeed in this cannabis industry. And I love to see it. You know, coming into this industry, mentorship is a huge part of it. You know, there's a lot of entrepreneurs in cannabis, a lot of people trying to break into the industry, people that have, were operating in the legacy market, transitioning into the regulated market. Have you had any mentors along the way or do you mentor anyone? Uh, I mentor quite a, quite a few guys. Uh, yeah, I really didn't have any mentors, mentors in the cannabis space, you know, um, but I do mentor quite a few quite a few young men yes i do and would that be you know geared towards cultivation or distribution what is really your area uh, 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 well both i'm i'm, I'm a very well rounded uh, in the cannabis space you know when it comes to cultivation distribution brand creation or what have you and so guys i have that i mentor they come from all fields i, I have uh, some young guys that i mentor in the uh, cultivation space uh, as well as branding. Uh, I have guys that are, you know, in the delivery business and stuff or what have you since, you know, startup cost is not as great, you know, doing a delivery as it is doing a uh, storefront. And so, yeah, I have, uh, have quite a list of guys that I, you know, continue to help every day. And I always will be like that. That's just kind of what I do anyway, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Legacy companies and craft companies need to help each other as much as they can because big business has truly entered the cannabis market. But Gas House is doing what it needs to do to survive and thrive. And that's building an authentic brand that people love. The more brand equity a cannabis company can build, then the more leverage they will have in growing their business. And like I always say in all of the countless videos I've done in the past, the small business in the cannabis industry only has around three avenues where they will have leverage over a billion dollar company. And that's building brand, genetics, proprietary technology. And really, yeah, that's about it. There's some other things, smaller things, but for the most part, those are the three big things that a billion dollar company can't necessarily just, you know, build itself. Anyways, in conclusion, Felix and Kingston built an amazing team. They adapted to new markets and they continue to grow their brand in unique and strategic ways throughout the country. 
as time goes on, the cannabis industry is going to get harder and harder to succeed in. You need to be smart, you need to work hard, and you need to never give up. Good luck. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick pack high design episode. Please make sure to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're not already, and follow us on all the socials, links down below. Shout out to Felix, Kingston, and the whole Gas House family. Anyways, this is LMC, signing out.